this interesting tutorial I'll teach you how to make this kind of menu if you're watching this from an embedded video from YouTube or you're watching from any other network that is from any other website that is not customic.com go to customic.com and click demo you will see the live demonstration of this project and this is what basically we'll be doing so let's get started once you finish editing your Photoshop file you'll open it using flash catalyst and uh, from here the first thing I always do I tell my students to always do you must create the buttons first before creating any new state so to create a button I want to create the home button first so to create the home buttons I'll go to navigation folder then text effects folder then I'll go to home folder home folder we have these two text this one which is a white one and this one if you click this you'll see the black one so I want these two to be my to be my button so control click on both of them choose component and make it button click on up then you'll see on up we have the white the white button is seen then you click on over you want the white one to disappear then click on the black one for the black one to appear that's it then now we need to create the effect that is making our uh, button rotate so you'll come to up then you click from up to over sorry up to over then click on smooth transition then if you click on this you will see they just fade in so to create the rotating effect click on fade in then add action rotate then change the angle to 720 if you want you can play with this and see where it will get you then click on play then we have the rotation effect but this is only when you hover around but when you hover out it won't do the same so you'll come down here and click from over to up smooth transition then click on this one fade out add action rotate angle to 720 degrees and click play to see the result that's it we've made our button so to come out of that click on this and to view what you've done click control plus enter and control enter then it will build the project and you'll be able to see that you'll do the same for all these three buttons I'm going to take you through one more button then you'll see how to manipulate that for all the number of buttons that you have yeah we go to home over out there it is so we need to create the next one for blog then you come here come to this folder called blog click on that control that choose component make it a button click on up then up remember it was white then over to be black then this one to disappear then click on up to over smooth transition click click on the top one rotate change the degree to 720 degrees then play and see then you click from up from over to up you smooth transition then you add an action rotate angle is 720 degrees click play then come here to go back then click control enter to view there we have our button but uh, the next thing now we need to do you see when you click there is no action that happens when you click so uh, what we'll do when we click to see the action for this leather color to come to blog or to come to products when you click we are going to do this by creating another state so we are going to click this state and duplicate state we have page 2 now but in page 2 it will be when we click on blog so we'll click on this button called blog and we'll add an interaction to blog add interaction 
on click play transition to page two when in any state click ok you have added an interaction to this button then you come back to the home button you also add interaction to that play transition to page one when in any state click ok we have two buttons but now in this now that we are in page two we need this this leather to come here so to get that to activate this leather menu you will come to this folder called main then active states and you can see they are all active states here here's a home active state when you click on that you can see that but now what we'll need to alter is we want in the page 2 which is blog you need to deactivate that scroll down come back and you want blog to be seen then in page 1 is home so once you're done with that you can create a new state and this will be page 3 and page 3 you'll come down and select products to be visible but blog to be invisible as simple as that then you'll come here to transition from page 1 to page 2 you add smooth transition you add smooth transition to all the pages but for now I'm going to teach you how to make only these two pages then depending with the number of menus that you have if you have three if you'll put three or you'll put the five of them uh, it will depend all on you so if I teach you how to make one it will be monotonous if I teach you how to make all the rest so control enter to view our final product this is how it will be home click on home nothing happens come to blog click on blog the leather button comes out and you hover in hover out now you'll create the rest for the rest of your buttons and thank you please subscribe if you're watching from youtube and follow us from if you're watching it from my site customic.com